This is an attempt to uh, update you and keep you informed about what's going on in the postal dispute. I know there's a media circus going on out there, and you're seeing that on TV, hearing it on radio, reading it in the newspapers, but it's important that we really try to keep you updated direct. You'll also have seen in the media over the last few days quite a number of different developments as the dispute rolls out, and this has become the number one news story in the UK. Last week, you'll have seen the dossier that uh, was leaked from William Royal Mail, which talked about how Royal Mail was preparing for war and not peace. It told us that Royal Mail were intending to bulldoze change through without agreement, without concerns from you, from their workforce or from the union. And you know that's what's at the heart and soul of this dispute. And you know we need a national agreement to take forward, particularly given the scale and pace of the change that is expected in this industry. Yesterday, on Tuesday, I hope you saw the explanation by Billy Hayes in the Daily Mirror telling their millions of readers why it was still important for us to go on strike and why we found ourselves in this position. It's taken the big yes vote that you delivered and it's taken the announcement of the two days of the national postal strike to actually get Royal Mail to start taking these issues seriously and start working towards an agreement. There were 10 hours of talks on Monday, significant hours of talks on Tuesday. Dave Roy has been leading those talks for the union and they've been talking about all the issues surrounding both the local strikes and the national dispute and those have been continuing. Today, Wednesday, the union's executive will meet this afternoon. They'll receive a report from what's going on in those negotiations. And of course, strikes are still planned for Thursday and Friday this week, as tomorrow and the day after. We will try to communicate directly with you about what's going on, about what decisions they've taken, and about how the negotiations are progressing. In the meantime, the post executive will meet today, and strikes are planned for the next two days.